Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be Office 365 Excel tutorial number six and the topic is going to be how to use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP and the VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup and the HLOOKUP stands for horizontal lookup. So I've put together an example here where we have a list of salespeople and then their monthly sales and then the total for the year and what we want to do is we want to figure out a bonus that the salesperson should receive. So I'm going to go ahead and add a column here for bonus. And then what I'm going to do is I've set up some rules in a, a table to calculate bonuses, and we're going to use VLOOKUP for that. So an example is if they've made roughly from or from no dollars to roughly 140, we give them a zero dollar bonus if they have 140 to 169.999, 5,000, and then if they get 170 to 199.999, then they get 7,000, and so on uh, based on this chart. So what I've done here is I've created. If you look over here, I've created a bonus chart. So in other words, from zero dollars to 140, they get zero dollar bonus. From 140 to 170, they get a $5,000 bonus. Once hit 170, they get 7,000, and so on, till the final one is 250 or greater, they get $20,000 bonus. So what we're going to do is we're going to use VLOOKUP in this example. And to do that, we're going to type equal sign, and we're going to type V, L, and you'll see will automatically populate. That's the only formula with start, starts with VL. So I can either double click it or hit tab. And then it's going to prompt me and ask me for the lookup value. So the lookup value that we're basing the bonus on is going to be their total sales. So that's the totals column here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first salesperson, which is this cell N2. And I'm going to hit a comma. Now it's asking me for the table array. So this is the bonus chart, okay? So we're not gonna highlight the title, but we're gonna highlight on the top left cell, hold down the mouse, left mouse button, drag over, drag all the way down, grab the entire table array, let go of it, and then hit comma. And then they're asking for the column index number. So that is referencing the chart here, okay? So what value do are we looking for to put in the bonus column? That's what they're looking for, and that's the column index number. So we have a two-column index, and so we're looking for the bonus dollar amount, which will be the second column. So I'm going to go ahead and put two there. And we don't have a range lookup, so we're going to go ahead and close the parentheses here and hit return. Okay. So this salesperson has greater than $250,000 in sales, and so they get a $20,000 bonus. So... If we had, you know, hundreds and or thousands of salespeople, you know, we could just easily replicate this down. So I'm going to go ahead and move my cursor to the to the bottom right of the first cell. We've created the formula. When you get the cross symbol, you can go ahead and double click your left mouse button to automatically copy that down. You'll notice I have a problem here. You see most of these are some sort of error in the in the formula. And the reason why that is, is if I go and look at this first formula, you see the table array is from R2 to S7. So you can see R2 here, S7 here. So that is exactly what we want. But what happens is when you copy formulas down, if it will automatically increment to the next cell if you don't specify that you don't want that to happen. So if I go here, you see now it goes to R3 to S8. Then it goes R4 to S9. So all of a sudden you get down here, it's not even referencing any values anymore. So what do we want to do? We want to absolutely reference as a, like a static uh, table array is this table here. So how we do that is we put dollar symbols in front of all these values for the table. So a dollar in front of R, dollar in front of 2, dollar in front of S, dollar symbol in front of S7. We can do that manually or we can just highlight that range well, without the comma. And then we can hit function F4. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to make all of, it's going to add the dollar symbols there, and it's going to make that table array 
an absolute reference. In other words, it's going to make it static. So now if I go here, I can either, and I'll just drag it down this time. When I get the cross, I'll hold down my left mouse, click and hold my left mouse button, drag it down, and you can see it automatically populated the, the um, bonuses. And you can also see that it did it correctly. Like I see here, these users uh, from row 18 down don't have 140,000 sales, so they get zero dollars. If I were to change that to 300,000, you'll see it automatically uh, update it. So I'm going to go ahead and back that out. Now, so that's how you use VLOOKUP. Common examples would be something like this, or maybe you're filling in, I don't know, student grades or whatever it may be. You can do the same thing. You can have a table array of, you know, zero to 60 is an F, uh, you know, zero, you know, 60 to 70 is a D and so forth. So uh, the next thing I want to share with you is that is a VLOOKUP. So the in other words, the table is vertical. What I've done here is I've created a horizontal chart where I have the sales totals here in row one, and then row two, I have the bonus amount. We're going to go ahead and change this to an H lookup, and that stands for horizontal. So I'm going to tab, and the lookup value is again the sales, the sales total, and then the table array now it's going to be the horizontal table. Okay, and now I do comma and then my row index number. Now it's the second row instead of the second column. So I'm going to go ahead and do two there. I'm going to close that out and hit return. And I'm going to do the same thing here where I want a static or an absolute reference to the table array. So I'm going to highlight that range. And I'm going to do function F4. Again, you can manually add dollar symbols if you want to. And just a, a heads up, if for some reason you wanted to always absolutely reference, say, a column, but then let the, you know, the, the number value change, uh, you could, you know, leave, you know, only put a dollar symbol in front of the item, you know, in this case, a column or a row that you did not want to change. So I'm going to return. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that by double clicking. I got the cross on the bottom right of the of the cell, and you can see here now we're doing an H lookup rather than a V lookup. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Thanks so much for joining. If you're looking for additional Excel content and other technical content, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day. Take care.